Okay, so, so what we're going to show you here is crystallization, and this is also something that Jaber came up with. And he did it mainly to purify uh, a solid substance. What we have in here, it's called hot snaps, and it is basically sodium acetate. And when sodium acetate is a super saturated solution, which means you add so much sodium acetate to water that the water cannot take up any more sodium acetate and you have to heat it up very hot and keep dissolving sodium acetate until it is a super saturated solution. And so what it has in there is that super saturated solution. And these are hand warmers because when we start the process of crystallization, then it evolves a lot of heat. So there's heat given up. So what Imran is going to do now is he's going to start crystallization and you have to watch closely because this little metal thing in here, uh, it's going to make a little noise, and that's a little friction, and that's all it needs to start making crystals. Okay, Imran, go ahead and, and click. And it's pretty amazing to watch. So if, did you? So heat is producing the crystal? Go like this, go like this, like this. Oh, is it, is it doing it? Bend the, bend the metal thing. With both your hands, bend it. There you go. Okay. So now if you watch, it's going to make those crystals. And how the crystals go? Okay. Here, you hold this, and I will do it. Okay. So, there you go. You just need a chemist's hand here. Wow. Are you recording amazing. it? So, do you see how amazing that is? Mm -hmm. And so now, if you touch it, it's going to be really warm. And, um, and so it's something that you can, you can, in the winter time, you can put it in your pocket, and it will keep your hands really warm. Thanks to Jabra ibn Hayyan. Go ahead and put his face on. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is uh, in the occasion of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq birth. And this is about uh, metals. Jabra ibn Hayyan used to work with metals. So he used to do tarnishing metals and then cleaning them too. But today we're going to just do the tarnishing. So we're going to take his, a coin like this. And we're going to write on it. Just like that. And it's going to look something like this. And then what we're going to do. We're going to drop it into a bath that has some sulfur in it and that sulfur is going to color the copper because there is going to be a new compound that's going to form on the surface so after a while what we can do we can rubber, uh, recover our coin and you're going to see it's going to turn black in color but that's gonna have some acids on it and we don't want to touch those acids so what we're gonna do we're gonna put it in a baking soda bath so that it neutralizes all the extra acids and then uh, we stir it a little bit and then we take it out and when we take it out it looks really nice and shiny and now we can touch it really cool this is for Baitul <laughs> Alm <laughs> <laughs> and this is Dr. Ahmed Oday and he's working with metals and metal tarnishing. So what we are doing here is the distillation of flowers to get to give us hydrosol. Um, so it's not oil that we're going to be collecting on in here. It's going to be oil mixed with water, and the oil is going to be the rose oil that's going to come out. And this is actually used in any modern chemistry lab whenever we have to do distillation on the we need to extract something or separate one liquid from, from another liquid or one compound from another compound. So Jabir ibn Hayyan was the one that came up with the alambic. And this is, it kind of like looks like the alambic because remember from the movie that, that I showed you, it's, um, uh, it's very similar to the alambic. And the alambic itself is still st sold today for in the perfume industry. It's just, it looks like a, a much bigger size of the alambic that it was shown in the movie. So, so this is something that is directly his contribution 
and um, I think this is like one of his most important contributions to chemistry. All right, thank you. Okay, so this is Imran Mohsen, and he's the one who put the movie together. So we have to thank him for it. Imran, you want to say something? Yeah, uh, it took me about three to four days to put the whole movie together. And it took me about two days to record my mom on the movie, which you will hear in a few minutes. And I learned that Javar Mahan was a really cool guy, and it really surprised me of, like, how much all the stuff that, how much, like, how much stuff he did in his life. Thank you.